Hi, Kevin here. Well, for an early dinner today, we're fixing a cabbage pie. Now, there are a lot of cabbage pie recipes on YouTube, but I don't think any of them give you specific measurements for the ingredients. So I went ahead and measured everything out for you. So here we go. All right, you will need half of a medium head of cabbage. And I did weigh this and it weighed 425 grams. You will need half of one large onion, one bunch of flat-leaved parsley, no need to weigh that, and some salt, some pepper, three large eggs, and about three quarters of a cup, that's 80 grams of all-purpose flour. Okay, I'm going to chop up my vegetables and then we'll come right back. All right, here's the cabbage. Now, I sliced this rather thinly, and then I cut the slices crosswise into smaller pieces. But you can cut your cabbage any way you like. And to the cabbage, I'm going to add the onion. And again, the cabbage was 425 grams. And here's the half of one large onion that I diced. And here's the parsley, which I chopped with the help of my food processor, just to save a little time. And then I'm going to add some salt. Now, the first time I made this pie, I used a half teaspoon of kosher salt, and that wasn't enough. So today I'm going to add one teaspoon of salt. and some grinds of black pepper. And what else do I need? That's it. Going to give these a quick toss just to mix. Yeah, Mr. Fox absolutely loves this cabbage pie. And I'll have to confess that I love it too. It's very healthy. All right, then I'm going to add the three large eggs, and I did beat them first. Just pour that over the cabbage mixture. And then you could use your hands to mix this up. I'm going to use tongs. Just want to get all of the cabbage and parsley an onion coated with the egg. Yeah, I find that whenever I'm feeling under the weather, if I eat cabbage, I feel as right as rain. I don't know what it is about cabbage, but it just makes my body feel good. All right, then I'm going to add the all-purpose flour, and again, this is 80 grams, which is roughly three quarters of a cup. Just sprinkle that over. And then once again, mix it into the cabbage with the tongs or with your hands. It's probably easier to do this with your hands. I'm just trying to be tidy here. Now this is, we call this a cabbage pie, but it's not a pie in the traditional sense. In other words, it does not have a pastry shell. Okay, I think we are mixed enough. All right, now I'm going to move you over to the stove top. Okay, so I have my non-stick skillet over medium-low heat. This is a 10-inch diameter non-stick skillet and it is 8 inches on the bottom. You could use any skillet you want or any skillet you happen to have, non-stick preferably. Then I'm going to add 
about a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Swirl that around. And then add the cabbage mixture. very colorful. Okay, and then mash it down with a spatula. And then take your spatula and run it between the cabbage and the edge of the pan so you create a pie-like shape. In other words, you want to create a circle. Okay, and then we have to cover this and I do not have a proper lid for this skillet so I'm going to use this nine inch glass pie plate turned upside down. Okay, and we're going to let this cook until the pie has browned on the bottom. That's going to take about 10 minutes, and we'll come back. All right, the pie has been cooking for about 12 minutes, so now I have to remove this makeshift lid, remembering it is ripping hot. Now, we have to flip this, and the easiest way to do it, and easiest is probably not the right descriptive here, is to put a plate over, actually no, what I did yesterday was just slide the pie onto a plate, there we go, then we have to put this pie upside down into the skillet. And this is easier said than done. So what you do is put the skillet, which is very hot, over the plate, and then, trying not to burn your fingers, which I did yesterday, just flip, and there it is. So it's very brown on this side. And that's good because brown cabbage is sweet cabbage. Okay. And now I'm going to return that lid, which is really just a pie plate. And then I'm going to cook this over low heat for about seven minutes. And when this gets done, we'll come back. All right, the pie is done. So now, once again, have to slide the pie onto a plate and then if you think one side is a little too dark go ahead and flip it again and you might find as I did that the other side is much more attractive okay now I'm going to go ahead and slide this back onto, we'll call this the serving plate. Okay, and then I'm going to get this on the, on the dinner plates and then I'll show you what it looks like on the plates. All right, here's Mr. Fox's serving. Here's the cabbage pie. And I'm serving it with some sliced hothouse tomatoes that I seasoned with kosher salt and grinds of black pepper. Here's some of that awesome beer bread that I made for you the other day. Here's my serving, same setup. And here's the leftover cabbage pie, which in all honesty, we will probably finish at some point today. Now it's time for a taste. Here we go. Mm, mm, mm. This is so, so good. 
Well, I hope you will give this cabbage pie a try someday. It's really easy to fix, it's totally delicious, and it's really healthy to eat. Um, and you can make the pie uniquely your own just by maybe adding a whisper of nutmeg to the mix or by uh, adding some sliced green onions. I think that would be a very nice touch. Okay, um, what else did I want to say? Uh, oh, yes, we're going to have our dinner now, and I really wish that you could join us for dinner. All right, thank you so much for watching. I will post the list of ingredients in the description box below. Again, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.